Welcome to Scoop Performance Tuning. Scoop is a Hadoop command line program designed to process data swiftly between relational databases like Oracle, Teradata, etc. and HDFS through MapReduce programs. You can tune the performance of Scoop mappings by tuning the Scoop command line arguments, hardware, database, and Informatica mapping. Basically, we can try to increase the degree of parallelism, thus increasing the performance. In this video, you can watch Tuning Scoop for a sample Informatica mapping by initially setting the mapper's count. First, create an Oracle JDBC connection. Open the Developer tool. Now, select Windows Preferences. In the Preferences window, expand Informatica and select Connections. In the Connections panel on the right, under Available Connections, expand the domain to view a list of all available connection folders. Expand Databases folder and select JDBC folder. Click Add to create a new JDBC connection. A new database connection window appears. Enter all the required values. Click Next and enter all the database details. Click Test Connection to ensure correct entries. Now, click Finish. You should see the new connection, ORA underscore JDBC, under JDBC folder. In the Object Explorer panel of the Developer tool, expand MRS Repository, Sample folder, and select the mapping. In the Properties tab below the Mapping Canvas, select the Runtime tab. The Validation Environments window appears. Select Hadoop and Hive checkboxes. In the Execution Environment, select Hadoop. Select the Connection. Click on Source Object in the Mapping Canvas and in the Properties window, select Advanced. Clear the Disable Scoop Connector checkbox. Set the argument. As you can see here, Department Number is the primary key column based on which partitioning will be done for a faster run of the mapping. Change the connection value to ORA underscore JDBC. Right-click on the mapping canvas, validate it, and then run the mapping. Use the monitoring feature of the Administrator tool to note the statistics like Yarn Application State and Elapsed Time. Now, increase the map account by setting it to M4. This will increase the performance. Run the mapping again and check the elapsed time. Ideally, 
you should be able to see the elapsed time for the mapping less than the previous run when you had selected M2 as the mapper count.